107.5 WBLS, your number one source for R&B. Of course, we're right in the middle of Black Music Month, and uh, it was developed and brought to the table by Brother Kenny Gamble. Um, and I wanted to know, I mean, obviously, both of you are very socially conscious, and you have been for years. I mean, you've paid attention to what was going on in our world. You paid attention to uh, how our people were going through the struggles at the time and even mm-hmm. till this day. Um, so obviously you felt it was necessary yeah. to definitely acknowledge our music in such a, a, a wonderful way. Please share upon us. Well, you uh, know, really um, we were fortunate enough to, to have great relationships with disc jockeys. If it wouldn't be for the disc jockeys, uh, Gamble and Huff would have never been able to to do the things that we were able to do, you know. And um, in each city, like Chicago, uh, New York here, uh, Baltimore, Washington, uh, uh, St. Louis, all, all over the country, we had, we had great relationships with people. So we used to go to uh, NATRA. It used to be National Association of TV and Ready Announcers. That was a... Uh, basically a black organization for black disc jockeys and radio announcers. Mm-hmm. And so um, one year we went there and they were having some financial problems, naturally. And so at the time there was uh, Rodney Jones and uh, who was in Chicago and there was um, uh, Ed Wright who was a disc jockey from, he was the president of the organization. And so we had started talking. I said, well, you know, the Country Music Association that just started around that same time, and they were, um, and they were basically created to to market and merchandise the the, the country culture, mm-hmm. and so why couldn't we do the same thing with uh, with black music? So um, so we convinced uh, um, Natra to uh, change its format and to become the Black Music Association, which... The BMA. Yeah, the BMA. Yeah. It, it didn't just include disc jockeys, it included artists, it included uh, um, black executives, right. and distribution. So you have four divisions in it. And um, we had everybody. I mean, it was beautiful, you know. Well, so, wh- really why did, so what made you, um, what made you decide that June should be for well, you know, music. because uh, the country country music month is October. You know what I mean. So we just picked June and said June is Black Music Month. You know, what I mean? thought it would probably be a time because of Juneteenth. No, but so, you know, it all worked out. Yeah, yeah Juneteenth yeah. is 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 a great thing for it. You right, know? sure. And the music is so powerful. But um, you know, we had people like Clarence Avant who worked with us, and, and he got us um, into uh, to with Jimmy Carter was the president, then, and we we. Clients they were instrumental in, in getting um, the celebration of Black Music Month. That was the first celebration in the White House, mm. you know what I mean? And um turned out really nice. You know, you had um, Chuck Berry, Billy Eckstein, Evelyn Champagne King on the show there. Was, I mean, it was, and everybody was there, you know, especially everybody from New York was sure, there. Sure, sure. You know? and, uh, and so the purpose of it was was to um, to to promote and protect black music, you know, and um, so we still worked on it for many, many years. And so um, Ed Wright and, and us, we, we worked very hard and we got CBS to support it. We had everybody supporting it mm-hmm. because it made sense because it was about business. And the theme for uh, the Black Music Association was that black music is green, that it's an economic system, you know what I mean? And, and it means jobs for people and it means uh, uh, our culture is wrapped up in it. And so a few years after that, when Bill Clinton became president, um, Deanna Williams and Sheila Eldridge yeah. with I Am, you know, International yeah. Association of African American Music, they kept it going. And they went and got uh, President uh, Clinton to um, to put a bill into Congress. And, and uh, Congressman Shaka Vata was, was working with them. And so it's officially, yes. you know, in, in, in Congress and in the United States, so, uh, representatives down there that it's officially June is Black Music Month everywhere forevermore you know what I mean and when you start to think about the music then you go a little bit deeper and then you start to think about our culture 
Huffin McFadden Whitehead um, was in our office writing that song, right? Uh, and I was coming in. When I was coming in the door, and I heard, I said, man, I got to get in on this one. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, so it was McFadden Whitehead and Huff and myself. Uh, man, we knocked that. That was so much energy in that yeah. room that day. You know yeah. what I mean? Because, mm -hmm. and, and you could feel it when you listen to the intruders doing it. 